it's beer o'clock on Relay Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Atom Beers. And this is a can of their Oblivion. This is an Imperial Dessert Stout coming in at 13% ABV in a 440 milliliter can. Is it 440 or 5? It is 440 milliliter can. The can was kindly sent to us by Top of the Hops Beer. .co.uk. I'll say it again, top of the hops beer .co.uk. Um, I've got that kind of wrong a few times in the past, and I apologize to the company who were kind enough to send me the beers. But I think this is one of the first beers that I've had from Atom, and I'm going to enjoy this. I think, I think, I hope. Um, without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. I think, again, there's a lot of I think, I think, I think going on in this review, but. I like to go into the beer review blind without knowing too much about the beer, but I think this brewery are based in Hull in the UK. We'll check in a moment. Have a listen to that glug and have a look at that head developing in the glass. Look at that. Whew. Yeah. Have a listen. Wow, wow, wow. That's a tight head. There's got a bit of dissipation about it, but it's not it's not dissipating too fast. It's kind of hanging around a little bit. But look at the liquid. Look at that liquid in the glass. It's It's jet black. It's like engine oil. It's jet black and it's supposed to be like that. The brewer wants this beer to look like that. Look at, look at it. I mean, I'll be able to do this a little bit more rigorously later on, but look at that head. Look at the liquid chasing the head up the glass. Let's get the aroma then on this jet black beer with a two finger tan colored head. Oh, just fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Mm. chocolate coffee caramel it might be no it's not a nitro it's not a nitro can but it has that lactose -y dessertiness about it it's definitely a beer brewed with lactose i'd be so surprised if it wasn't but the very fact they've called it a dessert stout generally means it's been brewed with lactose Sweet, almost raspberry flavours going on. Chocolate, coffee, caramel, coconut, vanilla. I'm ready. I'm salivating. I'm ready. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, it's got raspberry flavours in it. Yeah, like a raspberry puree or something. Oh, it's a funny one. Now I'm getting loads of bovril, loads of bovril and gravy and, hmm, interesting. A bitterness from the roasted malt. It's got a creamy mouthfeel, but it could be more. It could be more. It could be a little bit more thick and gloopy. See, okay, first and foremost, it has been brewed as a dessert stout. Some of you people out there are going to absolutely love this beer if you're more a lover of sweet beers. If you like a more sweet beer, a lactosey, sweet kind of raspberry stout, as this as this certainly tastes like it, it definitely has some raspberry in it. But if, like me, you're a little bit more of a traditionalist who would prefer an imperial stout brewed with a shed load of oats, so you're getting a, 
a creaminess from the oats and you're also getting a big flavour from the oats and a more of a dry, a more of a dry feel, then this beer won't be for you. This beer won't be for you. I was kind of hoping, and I built myself up at the beginning of the review, I was kind of hoping to really, really, really enjoy this beer, almost to love this beer. But I just, I just can't get my head round the sweetness. I just cannot get my head round the sweetness. I would prefer much more roasted, bitter flavours coming from the roasted malt and, and a creaminess from oats rather than something as sweet. This is a very sweet beer and it's very slick like, like engine oil, but in a, in a, in a sweet, slick way. In a syrupy way, that's the word, more of a syrupy flavour and a syrupy mouthfeel. It's one of the better dessert stouts that I've tried. It all depends on you. It all depends on you at this point. Sweet stout, yeah. Go and grab it. Imperial strength, strength, Imperial strength 13% ABV. You're going to love it. You're going to be all over that. Go and buy it. If you're more of a traditionalist, you want your oats and your roasted malt to be coming through, then don't bother. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. Atom. Uh, Cronachan inspired raspberry Imperial style. I've not even read the back of the label, but yeah, um, it is definitely raspberry. Um, conditioned on vanilla and single malt oak chips, a complex, sweet, smooth, and decadent finish. And it, yeah, it indeed has lactose in it. And are they based in Hull, which I thought they might have been? Um, do they say? Do they even say where they're from? I don't even think that it addresses on here. Ah, here we are. Yeah, uh, Malmo Road in Hull. Malmo Road. That must be heading towards Malmo in Sweden if you were kind of the direction of the road. Has to be. Um, it's very complex. I kind of miss the oak. They, they mentioned oak chips. I kind of miss that. Um, yeah, now they mention it. Bit of vanilla, bit of oak. But it, it, it's dominated by the raspberry. Let's not kid ourselves here. It, it's more of a sweet raspberry flavour rather than oak chips and vanilla. Because oak chips and vanilla head towards that kind of traditional roasted malt stout with loads of oats. It's just how I feel about the beer. It's just how I feel about the style of the beer. I suppose I'm always going to struggle with these dessert stouts. Lots of people will love it. Lots of people will love it. It's, it's just not for me. But saying that, I understand it. I respect it. There's no off flavours. There's no reason for me to give it anything less than a 7 out of 10. So 7 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. <laughs> I tried so hard to get to the end. <laughs> give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.